All right, everyone, at STP, 0 0.280 liters of a gas weighs 0 0.400 grams. Calculate the molar mass of the gas. So what do we know from the problem? Well, at STP, which stands for standard temperature and pressure, we know the temperature and the pressure. They are both standard which means specific values that we have set. So for temperature, that would be 273 Kelvin. And then for pressure, that would be one atmosphere. We have 0 0.280 liters of gas. So that would be a volume, 0 0.280 liters. And then we have a mass of 0 0.400 grams. So mass 0 0.400 grams. The problem is asking for the molar mass of the gas. So we'll abbreviate that as MM. Sometimes you'll see it as just one capital M. So molar mass is what we are trying to find. So we need the formula for molar mass. Well, molar mass is mass over moles, or m over n. So looking at that equation, we have mass, but we do not have moles. So we have to find moles first before we can solve for molar mass. To solve for moles, we're going to use the ideal gas law, which is PV equals nRT. And we're using this equation because we have temperature, pressure, and volume, and our R value, which we can use those to solve for little n, which is moles. So let's rearrange our equation to solve for n. To do that, we are going to divide both sides by RT. And we are doing that so that on the right side, R will cancel, T will cancel, and then we can rewrite our equation as PV over RT equals N. So now we can plug in our values and solve. So for pressure, we have one atmosphere, and that is gonna be multiplied by volume, which is 0 0.280 liters. Okay, divide those by RT. Our value for R is going to be one of these three values. And we have multiple R values because it depends on the units of pressure. So we have to look and see what units of pressure we were given in the problem. Since we're at STP or standard temperature and standard pressure, we said we are at one atmosphere. So the unit of atmospheres is the one we're going to want to match up with. So we are going to want to use this R value here because the units are liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. So we will put 0 0.08206 and then units are liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. Okay, All those units go with our R value. So that is our R value, which goes in the bottom of our fraction, and we're going to multiply that by temperature, which is 273 Kelvin. Okay, remember we're dealing with gas laws, so we have to have our temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so let's look at our units. Making sure everything cancels out, we have atmospheres on top, and then atmospheres in our R value. We have liters on top, and liters in our R value. And then we have Kelvin in the bottom of this fraction and Kelvin in the bottom of our R value units. So all of those are going to cancel and we will be left with just moles, which is perfect. That is what we want. So now we can solve this. So let's get our calculator. And you are going to punch in one multiply that by 0 0.280 and then divide by, let's open parentheses to do the order of operations correctly. We're gonna do 0 
2.06, multiply that by 273, close parentheses, hit equals, and we get 0 0.012498672. Let's round that to 0 0.0125. So for our answer here, we have 0 0.0125, and our units are moles. Okay, so we have our n value now, we have moles, so we can plug that into our molar mass equation along with our mass. So our molar mass will be equal to, again, mass over moles. For mass, the problem gave us 0 0.400 grams. And for moles, we solved for 0 0.0125 moles. Punch that in your calculator and you should get right around 32.0 and our units will be grams per mole. So final answer at STP, if you have 0.28 liters of gas weighing 0.4 grams, the molar mass would be 32.0 grams per mole. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.